in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at a fantastic new sample library subscription service from Splice. The track that you're hearing in the background has been made using the samples that I select later on in this video. And you get a full tour at the very end and you'll be able to download the project from Splice to experiment with yourselves. Log into the dashboard and head straight up to sounds and you're gonna get this overview. Now this is a really nice simple summary of the libraries. Remember this is a huge range of samples that need to be navigated. So there's a variety of different ways to do so. You could drop down up here and pick a style of music. So if I'm after a jazz library, I do so. We get a nice summary here with some large icons and we get a summary in terms of the amount of samples that are contained within each collection. I'm a big fan of Broken Beat. IG Culture is a legendary producer on that scene really good to see his libraries here and you can see when I click on that it takes me to essentially what looks like a home page for this particular library and we've got it broken down into different types of sounds like for example I could click on here to get navigating straight to the snares you can see it's an incredibly fast interface I haven't got a particularly fast broadband connection but the results are coming back in a really swift fashion and we can see here we've got some one shots I can audition these let's have a listen to this snare And the wicked thing about this is if I find something I like, I just click on this heart sign to add it to my likes. Come up over here on the left navigation, click on the likes and you can see any of the samples that you're gathering. So look, I'm gonna come back to that root page. Up along the top here, we've got the ability to search by different types of samples. So keys, gonna get here different styles of music, um, roads for example, and um, let's take a look, we've got some loops. Let me check this one here, let's go to the one shots. These are individual samples. I'm probably looking for like a chord of some sort. Okay. DJ Pierre, look, this is great. You can roll your mouse over on the left hand side and you can see which library these have come from. So, you know, you could be steered towards certain producers or certain labels, but um, what I'd advise you to do is just really improvise. Go and grab samples from a mixture of different collections. Build your own sample pack up. That's the clear advantage here. So um, let me see what else we've got. So I've got electric piano maybe, um, deep house, just using these categories to filter through the libraries. Let's have a look. Wow, who's that? Real people, ah, oh, do you know what? That actually sounds like a real people tune. Maybe these are outtakes from their, their performances. Oh, that's a beautiful chord. Do you know what, I'm gonna take that. Um, that could be handy. You know, back in the day when I used to make sample-based compositions, I used to go through my brother's record collection or CD collection and just lift out individual samples from all kinds of different tunes. And I'd end up with a folder full of samples that I could use in my composition. So this is a real reminiscent kind of approach. Oh, look at that. Wicked, this Real People collection is really good. Big shout out to Ollie. Um, how you doing, man? Um, so anyway, let's just keep having a look. Do you know what? What a lovely library. And this is a great thing about Splice Sounds. You know, you can go navigating through libraries that probably you haven't had time to go through on an individual basis. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to shift into something a little bit different now. So basically what I'm going to do is take off these tags and I'm going to look for some drums. I'm going to select the drums menu. I'm going to build up a little kit here, you know, so I'm going to basically get some kicks. This is amazing, seriously, being able to browse through so many people's libraries and um, instantly get access to this stuff. Build your own custom little kit. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, I love this concept because I might pick something. That was quite a nice one. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. I might pick something from a library that I wouldn't usually have any interest in. So just the way that this allows me to go discovering the samples is fantastic. Let me see if I can find something else. Oh, wicked, that's a really nice sound actually. It's almost like a tom. I'm gonna to keep that. 
Um, where are we? Just randomly going through here. Okay, that could be quite handy. So that's my kicks. Let me get out of here and um, let me get myself some hats. And um, well, I just clicked on the wrong category. Let me get this going. So where are we? So onto hats, 14,766 high hats. That's just insane. And of course you could subdivide by genre here. And what I want to do is in fact, grab some closed ones. So if we've reduced the list here, let me have a listen. I like that. Let's go for another one. Yep, I like that. This is insane. Such a crazy way to start going through libraries, honestly. Yeah, you know what? A little collection here. Take away the hats. Um, in fact, no, do you know what? I want to go back to hats. Seriously, what I'm thinking about here now is, is that I don't need to have a huge sample library on my hard disk taking up loads of space. Instead, I could just come on here to splice sounds and pick the sounds as and when I need them for the compositions and then only store those kits. Imagine how much hard disk space you could recover doing that. All right, so what have we got? We've got some chord samples, we've got some drum samples. Um, what I want to do is in fact, uh, go for like a vocal. Let's go to the category over here. And um, let me see what we got a whole load here. Can I do this by different genres? Um, let's go for, okay, this seems to be context sensitive. So according to the type of um, category you're looking for, it will then subdivide sensibly. So I had female and um, there's gonna be male here as well. So we've got female vocals. Um, I'm not paying attention to musical key here, um, but potentially I should be. Bim, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab some samples so you don't get bored. I'm going to get the whole lot prepared and I'm going to show you how we can make a repack and then download the whole lot to start a composition. So back up at the home page here, let's take a look at what I've gathered. So I've got a really nice selection here and in the break, what I did, I gathered together some bass samples, um, some effects, various other little bits and pieces that will make up the ingredients for my track. But what I need to do is I need to gather these samples together. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the repack section. I'm going to say Danny J Lewis pack one, I'm going to add this and you can see it's saving it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these samples to my repack. So I click on here. You can see it's been added. I'm going to do this over here. And uh, there may be a way to do this by bulk. I haven't found it just yet. So the splice guys or anybody else using the service, please can you put the uh, information on whether that's the case in the comments below on the video. So I don't want to bore you. I'm going to fast forward and uh, you're going to see all of these added to the pack and we're going to download the samples. So with that done, I'm going to come over to my pack here. You can see everything. And what's great about this is that I can make this public or share it. So I'm curating sounds. I love that concept. And um, what I want to do obviously is to download all of these. And it's very easy. Just click on the download icon. It's using the Splice app and it's basically placing all of these samples into the samples folder in your Splice folder on your hard disk. I'm going to download all of these and make a track idea share it on Splice, and then go through a deconstruction in the next part of the video. So here we go, little tour of what I've got. I've got a drum rack, which has got all of my drum samples, a drum rack, which has all of my percussion samples, another drum rack, which has effects samples, a piano as an instance of simpler, running through an auto filter with an LFO, a little bit of delay, bass coming from simpler. So it's another sample that I had from the Splice Sounds collection. The road sample you saw me pick at the very beginning, another instance of simpler, and then finally a drum rack with some vocals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this into a range view so you can have a play around with it. Here we go. I'm going to switch through the scenes on the right hand side. Yeah. 
So that's it. I'll make it available for you guys to have a play around with on Splice. Remember, all of these samples were chosen through the fantastic new Splice Sounds feature. Get on there and try it out for yourselves. It's a subscription service. It's a monthly charge, but you can see there the real value in this particular approach. Yeah.